Voyager 2 was the first of two twin spacecrafts launched by NASA in 1977. Both spacecrafts were designed to explore the solar system's outer planets, using a technique known as a gravity assist to travel from one planet to the next during a rare alignment that only occurs once every 175 years. Voyager 1 was launched 16 days later than its twin on a faster trajectory, completing its flyby of Jupiter and Saturn in November 1980, while Voyager 2 was set on a slightly different path that would also take it past Jupiter and Saturn, but then on to Uranus and Neptune, where it captured the first and currently only close-up images of the distant gas giants. Voyager 2 arrived at Jupiter in July 1979, four months after its twin and nearly two years after it was launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The camera on board the spacecraft, much like Voyager 1, captured many incredible photographs of our solar system's largest planet. This highly colour-enhanced image was taken 6.2 million miles away from the gas giant and reveals magnificent but complex details of Jupiter's swirling cloud formations. An unusual brown squashed oval shape that was possibly a long-lived hole in the upper cloud layers can be seen at the top of the image, while white wispy clouds are visible at the bottom. For a second time that year, scientists achieved a close-up view of Jupiter's famous anticyclone, the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot can be seen at the top of the image, while a smaller but still powerful white storm rotates just below it. The famous red spot at this point was nearly twice the size that it is now, suggesting that the solar system's largest storm is possibly fading away. Voyager 2 also captured many photographs of Jupiter's mysterious satellites, such as the spectacular icy moon Europa. This photograph was taken 140,000 miles away and reveals cracks crisscrossing through the moon's thick icy crust that is concealing a deep liquid water ocean. Europa's surface also seems to be smooth in appearance, with a lack of obvious craters suggesting that its crust is young and possibly warm a few miles below its exterior. Voyager 2 collected incredible amounts of data during its flyby of Jupiter, and also discovered a new moon that has been named Adrastia. But its encounter was now complete, and the spacecraft used Jupiter's gravity to slingshot it towards its next location. Just over two years later, on the 25th of August 1981, Voyager 2 arrived at the ringed world, Saturn. This true colour image was taken 13 million miles away from the magnificent gas giant, and reveals the planet's bright and dark bands like never before. Three of Saturn's mysterious icy moons can also be seen to the left of the image, one of which is casting a deep shadow down onto the cloud tops. Voyager 2 also had a close encounter with Saturn's icy moon, Enceladus. The detailed image was captured when the spacecraft was 67,700 miles away from the moon and reveals a surface scattered with different features, ranging from old, heavily cratered areas to young, smooth plains. Voyager 2 was the third spacecraft ever to fly past Saturn, capturing hundreds of images of the planet, its moons and its ring systems. But once its encounter with the gas world was complete, the spacecraft continued on to the next distant world, one that had never been visited before. In January 1986, nearly four and a half years after its Saturn flyby, Voyager 2 finally made its closest approach to Uranus. This true colour image was taken 5.7 million miles away from the planet, and although the photograph doesn't expose many of Uranus's cloud features, it does reveal its blush blue colour that is a result of methane clouds in its atmosphere. Voyager 2 also discovered rings around Uranus and that the planet is tilted by 98 degrees, meaning that it essentially spins on its side. 
The spacecraft also captured images of 11 new satellites, one of which was Uranus's innermost moon, Miranda. The high-resolution image shows Miranda's bizarre terrain that is made up of huge canyons, some that are estimated to be more than 12 miles deep. Its surface seems almost jumbled up, as though it was pushed together and then broken apart several times. One theory suggests that Miranda may well be the collection of leftover debris that resulted from an ancient catastrophic event. More than three and a half years after the Uranus encounter, Voyager 2 had only one last world to explore in order to achieve its grand tour of the solar system's outer planets. And on the 25th of August 1989, the distant spacecraft arrived at Neptune. This close-up image shows Neptune's unique bright blue colour, along with high-altitude white clouds that are casting shadows down onto the ice giant's lower cloud decks. Its not-so-famous storm, the Great Dark Spot, can also be seen, and at this point was large enough to engulf the entire Earth. With wind speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour, the fastest ever recorded on any planet in the solar system. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was also photographed for the first time, exposing its frozen surface that is a frigid minus 235 degrees Celsius. The colour mosaic image reveals the moon's strange terrain of icy ridges and smooth plains, with a few impact craters scattered across its exterior. Voyager 2 also discovered six new moons and Neptune's faint ring system during its historic flyby. But this distant, mysterious moon was the last solid object that the incredible spacecraft would visit after its amazing grand tour of the outer planets. Nearly 18 years after its encounter with Neptune and its moons, Voyager 2 crossed the termination shock into a turbulent area known as the Heliosheath, a region where solar wind abruptly slows down and heats up as it encounters interstellar wind. Then, 11 years later, on the 5th of November 2018, Voyager 2 finally became the second human-made object to reach interstellar space. The spacecraft is expected to continue operating at least one instrument up until 2025. Then, it will slowly shut down, becoming unable to communicate with Earth. In around 40,000 years from now, Voyager 2 will come within 1.7 light years of a distant star named Ross 248 in the constellation of Andromeda, where it will continue to drift through the darkness of space as a reminder of an ancient civilization that dared to explore their solar system and beyond. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please hit the like button, share and subscribe. If you would like to help support my channel then please head on down to the description where you can find a link to my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.